So here we have what mass in milligrams does 2.63 moles of nickel have? So I like to start these problems in a conversion style. And we can start with the 2.63 moles of nickel. And nickel is Ni. And then put a times and a line. Next, if we're trying to find a mass to convert from moles to mass, we need to use the molar mass. We get that from the periodic table. Using the periodic table, I have that um, 58.693 is the number from the periodic table. So that tells me there's 58.693 grams is equal to one mole of nickel. Using those numbers, we put the unit that we wanna cancel in the denominator, which we wanna cancel the unit of moles. The unit that we want to convert to is the unit of mass, which is grams. So we put that on the top. And the numbers follow the unit. So one mole with one mole, um, or excuse me, one goes with mole and 58.693 goes with grams. So now we've canceled out the unit of moles and we're in a unit of grams. Um, from here, we want to not leave the answer in grams, but they want the answer in milligrams. So we put the unit of grams on the bottom to cancel and milligrams on top using the conversion factor that one gram is equal to a thousand milligrams. We put the one with the grams, the thousand with the milligrams and the units of grams cancels and leaves us with just milligrams. So then we take these numbers, multiplying by the numbers on the top and dividing by the numbers on the bottom, I get 2.63 times 58.693 times 1,000 gives me 154,362.59 milligrams of nickel. From here, we have three significant figures in our problem. So we need to round to three significant digits. Uh, that would be rounding to the four. The digit to the right of the four is a three, so we leave it the same and we get 100, 54,000 milligrams of nickel. Or if we write that in a scientific notation, we would move the decimal one, two, three, four, five places to the left, which would be 1.54 times 10 to the five milligrams of nickel. So depending on what you, whether you want your answer in scientific notation or in standard notation, these would be the answers. So I hope this was helpful for you. If it was, please subscribe to my channel and let me know if you have any more questions in the future.